Hello, hello, welcome back. I am Kelsey. I'm Kelsey Lee here on YouTube, Instagram, TikTok. Today we are going to do a workout that involves using our yoga blocks. I know you bought them thinking I'm gonna have a mat, I'm gonna have blocks, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the yoga. Well, today we're gonna actually use the blocks to get some serious work in. So go ahead and get both of your blocks. You're going to need two. And let's get to it because I've got about 11, 12 exercises that we're going to do and they're gonna be tough, but I think that you can do it. I will try to make them go from, you know, not too terrible to maybe the hardest ones at the end. So, all right, got your blocks out. It doesn't matter if they're the foam or if they're cork. Uh, I think if you have cork for one of them, you might wanna grab like a towel or something a little soft to put on it so when your head lands on it, you won't hurt yourself. Um, and all we're going to do is, all, all we're going to do is sets of 10, rest for 10, 15 seconds in between, and then do three sets like that. So. 10, rest for 10 or 15, 10, rest for 10 or 15. Really just enough to get your breath back and then go right at it again, because otherwise this will take forever. And we want to get this done in 30 minutes. That's the goal. All right, so we're going to start with the lat lifts. Get your blocks not always back by your hips, but a little bit forward. So at the tops of your thighs to the middle of your thigh. And you're just going to push down and lift up. It doesn't matter if your hands go over the edges or right through the center. Just get ready to push. Are you ready? On your mark, get set and push. One, two, Three, just your hips come up. Four, five, heels are down. Six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And rest for about 10 or 15 seconds. Maybe stretch the wrist, shake the wrists. You notice as I push up, I lean in a little bit. Don't sit up super straight, it's really hard. Lean a little bit, let the hips go back. Are you ready? Let's do it again. On your mark, get set, and lat lift. One, two, three, four, Five, push out of the heel of the hand, six, seven, eight, nine, last one, 10, rest. Just a few breaths. And one more set of these lat lifts. Are you ready? If you're not keeping up, don't worry. If you get in five or six to my 10, or if you get in 15 to my 10, do you, it really doesn't matter that much. Work to the best of your ability. Here we go. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. So take your 10 or 15 seconds rest while I show you what the next drill is. We're only going to use one for this one. We're just going to go from downward facing dog into dolphin. And it's going to look like this. So I'm going to start in dolphin, squeeze the block with my elbows. You can interlace the hands if you want or if you can. I'm going to keep the palms flat. Squeeze the elbows, lift, drop it down one, two, etc. So I would start in dolphin, then you can grab the block with your elbows. You may not move as quickly as I do on this one. I do this a lot. Um, so just do the very best you can. It's tough. That squeezing in is going to help you so much if you are struggling with going from downward facing dog into dolphin pose. All right, here we go. Here we go. If you want to have the feet wider, it will make it easier. Feet together more, a lot more challenging. So do what's right for you. Here we go, on your mark, get set, squeeze the block, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Rest. That one was like really working. The back muscles, I'm not sure if you felt it there too. My shoulders, my back, that's a tough one. Ready? We gotta get this done today. We got stuff to do. For me, it's a Sunday. Uh, Christmas is coming up. The kids have a million things for me to do and I got to keep moving. Here we go, squeeze your black elbows in. Palms flat if you can. Ready, let's go. One, two, Three, really press the hands down. Three, four, five, keep squeezing. Six, seven, eight, nine, and last one, 10. Well, last one of that set. We have a third set. Rest, rest. Ready? One more set of this dolphin to downward facing dog. Squeeze it in, squeeze that block. This is where it's nice to have the foam and not the cork. Usually I love cork, but 
Uh, nobody wants to lift a block that heavy. <laughs> All right, ready? Here we go. Lift it up. One, two, three, four, five, six. Keep squeezing. Seven. Push out of the hands. Eight, nine, and ten. Whew. All right. Not too, too bad. Not too bad. So I think we're going to use just one block for this as well. If you have um, a cork block, that might be a little bit more stable for this next drill. But I tested it out, and it does work with cork, or with foam, or whatever the heck this is. All right. If you have one of those blocks that are a little bit thicker, maybe a little bit more challenging, a smaller block may be a bit easier. So, you know, do whatever you have. Make, make the best of it. I have deemed these block push heel lift-ups. <laughs> they don't make any. So what you're going to do, if you've done my toe tap videos, uh, you go toes up, heels down, and then you put the heel of your hand at the top of the block as well, wrap the fingers towards the bottom, and you push and kind of come all up to the balls of the toes and lift the heels, okay? So you're going to really squeeze the legs, squeeze the glutes, lift up as high as you can, pushing down into the toes, and make sure that you're pushing down on the opposite side of the block so that the block doesn't roll away from you. That could happen. All right, let's get into position. Heel of the hand down. Balls of the toes down, heels on the floor. Are you ready? On your mark, get set. Let's go. One, two, three, four. Feel the abs turn on. Five, six, seven, eight. There's the calves. Nine and ten. Take a breath. Let's go at it. Hands down. Heels down, toes up, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Rest. I'm gonna change an order real quick. Because I told you I would go from easier to harder. And uh, I think that one's pretty hard. It's gotta move. <laughs> All right, one more set, let's do it. Heel the hand down. <clears throat> Ball of the toes, up, heels down. Here we go, let's go. 10, one, two, strong legs, three, four, five, pull the abs in, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. I don't think those ones are too bad, but maybe for you they're new and you hated it. <laughs> so we are what we repeatedly do. Excellence is a habit. It's not something that you do one time. Winston, Winston Churchill? No, he said never, 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 never quit, but I'm not sure who said excellence is a habit. We are what we repeatedly do. Okay, so now we're gonna do this hollow shape pull through. This one takes a little bit longer. It won't be quite as quick. So here's a hollow body shape. You're gonna pull the knees in, go over the feet, lift the feet up, and reverse. Hollow hold. This is where it may help to have a thinner block rather than a really wide block. Um, you really have to compress and condense into a tight little ball, flex the feet, pull through, and then lift them straight up. I'm gonna try to keep that hollow shape the whole time while back on the floor. I know for me, I have like kind of a weak neck, so my neck's gonna be giving me some trouble through this, but I don't wanna use the other block. I want to strengthen my neck. I have to do it. All right, let's go. 10 of them with a small rest. This one's gonna be tough, I think. Arms overhead, low back on the floor, and go in. One, two, three, four, five, come on, keep going. Six, get hollow at the bottom. Seven, eight, getting close, nine, last one, ten. Yeah, that one is tough. Take a few breaths. You know, if you can't get your feet all the way through, let me give you a modification for the last two. If it's too hard, 
to do the hole like into a ball because that's quite a bit compression. You could always just hollow hold, reach up to the toes. Hollow hold, reach up to the toes. I should have given you a modification because that one's kind of tough. All right, I'm delaying. I know. Let's do it. Here we go. Hollow hold. Pull it through. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, get in there, keep going. Eight, nine, my poor weak neck. <laughs> Last one, and 10. <sighs> yeah. Work for the hip flexors, work for the abs, work for my neck, which is probably why I get headaches. I think it's part of my, my headache thing. I've got to strengthen something through here. But then we have to do those things that are super freaking challenging for us. So for you, it may be, you know, the compression or maybe the, the crunch of the abs. For me, it's holding my dang head up. So, you know, we all have a different area that we struggle with. It's not always easy for me either. If I make it look easy, I'm a tricker because I struggle too. I promise. All right. One last set of the neck torture. Hollow body. Hold it ready. Pull it through. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, we're getting there, eight, last two, nine, and 10. Good job. That one was tough. All right. Let's move into some, changing the order again. Let's move into some bridge pose with the block. Um, yeah, let's move into bridge pose. So for this bridge pose, I am going to have you use both. I'm going to have you put one block underneath the hips, just like right there on the sacrum, and one block between the knees. And then we're going to do, 10 isn't really that many, so let's do three sets of 25. I know I said 10, but for glute bridges, that's really not that much. So we're going to just bridge up and down, and the block underneath is there to remind you, you're not going to go that low. You're not going all the way down here doing all this stuff. You're gonna stay up nice and high. So one under the sacrum, one between the knees. Keep squeezing it, obviously. Shoulder blades under. Let's do 25, are you ready? Push down through the feet. One, two, just at the top. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. Squeeze at the top, 11, 12, 13, 14. Squeeze your block, 15, 16, 17, keep the shoulder blades tucked, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, and rest. We're just gonna take a few breaths. So I don't even think we need to move the block, plus it's a nice little, you know, nice little resting posture. <sighs> One last breath, and then we got another 25. This isn't too bad, right? Squeeze your bum and only stay at the very top. Don't make me come yell at you. Ready, set, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 20, push down through the feet, 22, 23, 24, 25. Good, rest. Couple breaths. Using our block in fun new ways. Isn't it exciting? <laughs> All right, one more set, ready? 
Let's go. Shoulder blades under. Push down through the feet and lift and squeeze. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. Good job. All right, hip ups. Let's let's skip that one. We're gonna do um, down dog push ups or pipe push ups. Depending on the strength of your shoulders, you may need both blocks to make it a little more doable. I'm gonna do it with one. I think that will work for me. You wanna set up like you're going downward facing dog, and the block is making a triangle with your hands, so it's slightly forward and right between the hands equally. You come into downward facing dog, maybe a little bit shorter. If you need it easier, if it's too hard for you, you're going to open the legs wide. If you're ready to make it harder, shorten your down dog and bring the feet together. Okay? And then you're going to just shift forward, tap the crown of the head, and push back up. Okay? If that's way too easy for you, you can elevate the feet on the other block. Take the feet up a little bit higher. Um, yeah. All right, you ready? We're going to do 10, three sets of 10. Let's get at it. Open the legs if it's too wide and use two blocks if it's too hard. Here we go. Let's get it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine and ten. Man, I was thinking when I was doing those. Am I doing something wrong? Because honestly, like I remember when those were brand new to me, and I thought it was like the most heinous, torturous, mean thing anybody <laughs> could have come up with as a drill. Like so incredibly hard for me. And it's gotten better. It's gotten better. We are we repeatedly do. Even with my left right shoulder, right shoulder not being fully fully strengthened yet. Yeah. So keep at it, be encouraged. These difficult things will get better with time, but you have to keep showing up, keep showing up, keep showing up, and keep challenging yourself with new and <laughs> crazy, maybe not heinous, crazy drills. Let's get right back at it. We got 10 more, here we go. Well, 10 more in this set. Let's do it. Shift, tap, one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. I was just trying to be very like, careful and aware during mine that I'm pushing out of each shoulder equally. I think my right shoulder is trying to like sit some things out and make the left shoulder do double. So that is where, I mean, I know this isn't exactly a yoga practice. This is more of a hit style. I do these drills to be strong in my yoga practice. But I bring my yoga into it because I keep breathing and I try to bring awareness into my practices. My right shoulder doing the work that my left shoulder is doing, trying to feel balanced from side to side and practicing that ahimsa, you know, not harming. If you're hurting yourself, you don't want to be doing this. Challenging, aching, uncomfortable. Yeah, we like discomfort. We don't like terrible shooting pain. One more set, ready? Get position. Last set of pike or down dog push-ups. Let's get it done. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, and ten. Those are tough. All right, that one's off the list. We've done it. Where is it? I didn't even write that down. Oh, oh my gosh, I did. Okay, <laughs> let's go back to a little bit of ab work. So I think this one's challenging, focus and balance wise. 
You're gonna lay on your back, come into like the legs up the wall position, flex your feet back, block goes on top of the feet. So then we're going to tuck the shoulder blades under, maybe bring the arms down flat, and just lift the hips. This one is just about balancing the block and don't let it fall. Cork might be easier because it's a little bit heavier. Maybe that makes it easier to balance. All right, guys, let's do it. Let's get these done. Work the abs, work the low abs, which are an area that's difficult to target. On your mark, get set, lift the hips. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Hold on, the dog is crying and he needs to go outside. He has been having diarrhea. Come on, guys. Ignore me. Come on. Sorry to use icky words during YouTube, <laughs> but that's real life. And then let's get right back at it. Okay, on the back. Block on the feet. 10 times. Let's go. One, two, three, four. The nice thing about this, five, is it takes some of the swing. Six, seven, the swing out of the lift. Eight, nine, and 10. That's not too bad. I don't feel like that one's too bad. I got a couple tough ones at the end though. Take a breath. Let's get that last set done. Feet and black prepared, shoulder blades tucked. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Whew. All righty. Hip ups done. Okay, the last, I have four left, and I don't want to lie to you. I don't want to lie to you. They're tough. I saved the last four for the hardest. Okay, down dog floats or hops. So if you do do yoga, you know when we are moving through our sun salutations, anytime you're at the back of your mat, you make your way to the top of your mat, you kind of jump, float. This is going to help you with that float. So put a block right in the middle of your down dog. If you really want to challenge yourself, make it super hard. Two blocks stacked. I'm going to do one because I don't want to look a fool. <laughs> and what you're going to do is you're going to shift forward, put the weight into your hands, a little bend of the knees, and hop over the block. I want you to make it, and you're going to float back too, excuse me. So you're going to hop forward, land, hop back. And the idea is that you put as much weight into the upper body, engage the legs, flex the feet, and you float over the block instead of just hopping. But if this is super new to you, you're gonna be hopping. And that's okay. That's okay. In the beginning, it's kind of kind of wonky, right? Because you're still learning, you're still developing that strength. Let it be and just do your best. The hair is getting wonky. <laughs> Here we go. 10 down dog floats forward and backward. We're gonna keep moving through them. We'll rest after the 10. You're ready? One, two, three, let's go. Float forward, land, hop back. That's one, two, three, four. Make sure you're engaging the quads to lift the feet. Five, six, press out of the shoulders, seven, Eight. Whew. Nine. I didn't jump when I thought I would. The body must be tired. And ten. The hop back is harder. The hop back is harder than the float forward. Because you get with the float forward, your legs bending and pushing gives you that momentum to get the hips up high. When you're floating back, you don't have that momentum from the legs sending you forward. That push all has to happen through the shoulders and the upper back. So it's definitely tougher. 
Take another breath. We got 20 more. Two sets of 10. Let's say two sets of 10. Let's get in that second set. Get your hands where you need them. Let's float. Here we go. One. That got kind of crooked. Two. Three. Four. Five. Feel the abs turning on? I do. It's part of lifting the legs. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. what we need to hear. We don't do that whole story of like, oh my God, this is too hard. Oh my God, I hate this. Oh, just don't do that. Just don't do that. It's a habit and that habit can be broken. Believe me, I have my own habits to break, not judging, but get out of the habit of this is too hard. It's just work. It's just work. Work ends. Ready? Let's get that last set done. Let's do the work. Ready? Let's go float. One. Don't mind my dog, sorry. Three. Four. Keep floating. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Last two. Nine. And 10. Good job. Good job. So that, stop it. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, that is a great drill to use if you're wanting to work on floating forward and backward in your sun salutations or anywhere in your yoga practice. It's a great float drill. And if that gets to be too easy, then you add more blocks and you work on literally floating and not just jumping. And that happens with time. So think about engaging the quads and engaging the abs. Okay, handstand push-ups. These are gonna be a bugger. And because I wanna just rep them fast, rep them hard, I'm gonna do my two blocks. I think that will be enough. If you're like a real baddie with your handstands push-ups, you can just do one block or none. This is where if you have a cork block, you're gonna to wanna to put a towel or something, excuse me, a little bit softer over your blocks because the cork can be a little hard on the head. Of course, the goal is to land very softly and then people don't. So please don't cram up your cervical neck and give yourself a terrible headache. Been there, done that. It's just not worth it for a handstand push up. If you got a sweatshirt, just fold that, put that on top. Let me do a test run and see. So you're gonna, again, set up <laughs> set up like you did for your down dog uh, pipe push-ups. Same kind of thing. The blocks are right up against the wall. Hands are in a triangle with the blocks. I'm going to kick up and a full handstand push-up is to lower down, rest into it, and push up. Okay? So it's all the way up, all the way down. We're going to aim for 10. If you need three blocks or four blocks, do you. It, it really doesn't matter. If you have a combination of cork and soft, put the cork on the bottom. All right, let's wrap out our 10. Here we go. Be careful with your neck. Do not land hard on your neck. If you're landing hard, please stop. Don't do it. You're done. All right, here we go. Feet together is harder. Legs open is easier. Do your best. One. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Come down. Come down. That one's a little harder on the wrists. 
lot of pushing into the heel of the hand. That one's a struggle posture for me. That one's really tough for me. I know there are women that I'm, I'm friends with that can not lower their head to the blocks, but lower their head all the way to the floor. And then to make it even more challenging, they raise their hands. They raise their hands on the blocks and they put their head between the blocks all the way to the floor. So the hands are elevated and the head is even lower. To me, I'm like, whoo, girl, I'm not there <laughs> yet. I'm not there yet. This is one that's hard for me though. And we have to do what challenges us. If we don't challenge, we don't change. So if you feel discouraged in some of these, no, I feel discouraged with this one. It's tough. Ready? Let's do 10. On your mark, get set. And kick up. Might have been good to have a mat under the block so they didn't slide, but oh well. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Woo! Can you tell I was getting tired? Oh. And I think I was compressing into my neck a little bit those last two or three. Not the best. Not the best. We gotta do our best. And that was not my best. I gotta do my best. So breathe, rest. Let's take two, three more breaths. And get this hard malarkey done with. That's how old I am. I said malarkey. <laughs> oh, I entertain myself. All right, let's go. Ten more. Kick up. Oh, ten. Let's do it. We might get wider here. One, <laughs> two, three, four, five, halfway, six. Oh, I'm struggling. Seven, but I don't quit. <laughs> Three more. Eight. Two more. Nine. Last one. Big exhale. Ten. Whoo wee. Thank God I didn't try to wrap that with one block. <laughs> okay. Handstand push ups done. Hallelujah. It may make these crow push-ups not seem so bad, to be honest. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do. One, maybe two blocks. I'm gonna start with two, and if I decide to change it to one, then we'll change it to one. We're gonna come into crow pose. Sorry, I'm resting the wrists. We're gonna come into crow pose, and we're gonna put the feet on the block, you'll see. And then we're gonna just lower from crow pose into a headstand, push back up. Lower into a headstand, push back up. When your head's all the way on the floor, the toes may float up off of the block, but as soon as you start to push up off of the ground, then the feet will go back down to the block. And the reason why we do this is because I want to focus on the upper body work and not about the balance. And the balance doing curl push-ups can be challenging. The feet go down and then you've got to reset every time. So this is to help you feel stable and balanced. That way you can work on the, um, the strength. All right, so here we go. Not chitter chattering. Maybe I'll do the first set with two and see how that feels. Not a bad idea. So I'm going to start with this like condensed little squat. And then knees are in the armpits or maybe a little bit on the outside. Because with the push-ups, sometimes they do go on the outside of the arms. You know I don't love crow with the knees on the outside. But for the push-ups, sometimes that happens. So come into your crow, but your feet are on the block. Bend the elbows. Drop the head. And then push up. And let's do that 10 times, okay? So use the feet on the blocks to help you balance. And you just focus on lifting and lowering the head. If this hurts your head, double or triple up on your mat. That way you're not thunking down on your head. All right, here we go. 10 times. 
for one set. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Um, go ahead, ask me why I put handstand push-ups and curl push-ups right next to each other. I don't know. Um, I'm thinking all of my life choices over right now. <laughs> Take a few breaths. I know that one was probably really hard for you, especially if you're not used to holding crow pose. And especially if you aren't used to holding crow pose and doing push-ups in them, they're really hard. So if you only got in like three or four or even two or three because they're new to you, don't be discouraged. Some of this is just figuring it out and then you come back to this video again and again and girl or guy talk to me in a year and you're gonna be like oh, I can do curl push-ups without even using a block now Kelsey I'll be like I bet I bet hop off all right let's go ten more too much talking and let's push there's one two three I gotta reset the knees every now and then Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Anybody else's um, hip flexors talking in those? hip flexors. We're talking in those. One more set. One more set. And then we're finishing with the hardest straddle presses in a handstand. And honestly, after all this work, you may only like straddle press up like a couple inches, or you may have to hop off the blocks. And I'm telling you, none of that matters. It don't matter. Even if you only float up an inch or you hop up an inch, you're still getting stronger. So don't tell me, I didn't do that last one. I bet you did. <laughs> you might not have liked how it looked, but I bet you did it. All right, let's do it. Last set of curl push-ups. I'm proud of you. We can do hard things. Let's do hard things. Get in your little tucked, unbalanced, because <laughs> we're using the box, curl pose, heel of the hand, base of the thumbs, bend the elbows, drop. Why am I not coming up? One, <laughs> two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and ten okay okay let's breathe maybe that was a bit much on the wrists as long as the wrists are feeling equally unhappy with you cool if one hurts worse than the other not my favorite uh, so maybe it's time to back off please listen to the wrists the wrists get to call the shots. And the knees. <laughs> and the hips. And, and all the joints. The joints get to call the shots. <laughs> Let's listen to them. All right, so for the straddle presses, if you're not a handstander, if you're certainly not a presser, this is really gonna be tough and super foreign, but it is so fun and so cool. And who wouldn't wanna be able to freaking press at a handstand? So just, just hang out there with me anyways. And 30 of them is a lot. So if you think I'm gonna press all 30 times, there's just no way in heck. In fact, I was thinking I'll do handstand for the first set, forearm stand for the second set, and go back to handstand for the third set because that's a lot of pressing. All right, so let's do it. I'm going to put my blocks about as wide as my mat, and I like them to go the same like direction as my feet. And then, 
So the feet are up a little bit higher. That makes it easier to press. Because what we need to press is to have the shoulders and the hips stacking as best as we can. So now that I'm on the blocks, I'm still going to come way up on the tippy toes to get the hips up nice and high, lean into the hands, and float the feet. So even if you float the feet just an inch or two like that, still a press. Maybe you didn't press all the way to handstand, but that last two or three inches is seriously the hardest. So let's do that ten times. Sometimes I may get it all the way up, sometimes I won't. Sometimes you may have to hop, sometimes you may float. And just accept that what your ten are, they are. All right, let's do it. One, land softly. What you do up helps on the way down too, or the, you know, the reverse. What you do on the way down helps on the way up. Two, I'm not sure I'm gonna press all the way to handstand. That feels like a little bit of a waste of energy. Three, I mean like straight like handstand. Four. Now I'm going to show you one that looks a little hoppier. So if yours look like this, don't even worry. That's okay. Five. That's okay. That's how it starts. I guarantee you that's how I started. Six. Seven. Ooh, that one was fast. I'm stuck. <laughs> Have you ever got stuck in a handstand? It does happen. Last one. Ten. Oh, there we go. Okay. Let's rest. Pressing's hard. Pressing's hard, even if you're using the blocks. Because we already did a lot of work. Okay, I'm going to run and see what time is. I'm going to run. Oh, not 30 minutes. All right, so we gotta go fast because we're already at 42. So we can wrap this up by 45 minutes. You may not wanna um, kill me. All right, so onto the forearms to press. Oh, good. This one has to be a little bit wider, I think. A little wider than the mat. It just doesn't work otherwise. All right, let's get those 10 on the forearm done. If you're joining me or on your hands, ready? One. Finding the mat, finding the blocks. Here we go. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, and ten. <sighs> okay. I was debating that whole time of like, should we do the straight off handstand ones? Gosh, if you made it through 42 minutes, you're gonna make it through 45. Let's just do it. Even if we have to jump, because I know, I know my shoulders and my hip flexors are kind of toast now. So I'm just going to go through it as quickly as I can. And just get it done. Ready? You ready? Let's press as best we can. One. Two. Three, see that lean that has to happen? Four, the more I lean in, the better it's working. Lean those shoulders forward. Well, technically what happens is the hips come forward and the shoulders go back. The hips go forward, the shoulders go back. I don't know if that's five or six. Let's call it six for time's sake. <laughs> Four more. Oh, oh, too high. Seven. Three more. Eight. I should have said that if you're very new to pressing too, 
So I got a little cramp in the hip. Flexing the feet rather than pointing the toes may be a little bit more helpful to you. Last two. I'm tired too. Nine. Last one. Hairs in my face. Maybe all the way up. <laughs> and ten. There we go. Okay. Hey, thanks for hanging in there with me and finding some fun new ways to use your blocks to drill, to get strong for your yoga practice or just in life. And you bought them. You bought the blocks. You might as well use them, right? <laughs> anyway, really good job today, guys. Whoo! Drink your water. Share this on your social media. Share it with a friend. Uh, what else? Subscribe. Please subscribe, especially if you're new to the channel, obviously. Um, because I'm getting really close to hitting that 5,000. I do all of this stuff for free, although, you know, if you want to hit me up with Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, and Kelsey. Kelsey, we on all of those. And I do appreciate that because I do do this uh, just for you guys because I love helping you in your practice. Anyway, have a great day. Take care. Namaste.